This is the Hobgoblin Horde on Epic Elite. Enter the caves, determined to eliminate another threat to the residents of the keep. So I thought about running this quest on, I wasn't sure if I wanted to run it on Epic Elite or Epic Reaper. So that's one difference here between uh, this, between uh, Epic and regular. Alright, let's see. Probably need to get that caster. That caster seems like it's killing my hireling pretty hard. Oh, there we go. As the last goblin dies, you notice something glittering in the debris under the makeshift wooden walkway. So yeah, so um, the reason I, I decided to go ahead and run down Epic Elite instead of Reaper is first, there's on Reaper one, there's just not going to be that much. There's not going to be enough experience to really make it worth it. Champions hitting pretty hard. What sort of was that? Must probably wonder what that was from. Let me go ahead and get him raised. He is almost out of spell points. I don't know what's up with that. He must have got negative leveled at some point. So I think I'm going to release my hireling and then call him back in five minutes. I think I could probably do okay without him for a few minutes. I'm going to go back by that way anyways, uh, so I might as well might as well do this. Kind of a good test anyways. I think they're using magic missiles, which is which is good. I'm more have my shield. I didn't realize that they're magic mission users. These shamans, pretty tough. That might be an optional. I'm just going to see if there's a shrine there. I never go that way. As the door opens, a small goblin cries out. Me, cheat now! You go away! <laughs> the goblin falls. Looking around, you spot an iron key in the back of the chamber. I'm just going to go back to the front to recall the hireling. Alright, I just paused it for a little bit. I still had a minute or 
couple, uh, maybe two minutes left on the timer, so I just, just paused it while I waited. Got the hireling back, and now good to go. Oh, let me give him death ward, because... I think what happened is he got negative leveled, and that's why he ran out of spell points. Hmm, speaking of running out, uh, let me get my shield. You can see the uh, magic missiles. No save on it, uh, a lot of proc, so it's adds up. Alright, let me get my remnant. The door swings open on well oiled hinges. Hear the sounds of guttural chanting coming from the chamber ahead. A musical horn swings off the passage. Perhaps the magical wings on the wall. So I saw the uh, death block symbol pop up on. Uh, on Breck, the hireling, so I think that that death ward saved him from getting neg leveled again. Re re stretch bowling. So it's kind of funny because this hireling has uh, renewal, but he keeps using mass heal, which is a lot of spell points. This is. Uh, very few spell points. Alright, so I'm going to do this puzzle. It's a standard concentration puzzle. Well, I'm glad that was effective. give Breck another death block. A massive iron gate barred this passage. Alright, I 
think I'm gonna save that, save, save my Harper pin. And I don't think I need a shrine. I do want to get another. My last use a shield clicky, not my last one. I guess I have one more. So he always, it's really weird, the AI on the uh, hirelings, that they would use a the simple renewal would heal him up. Open, making barely a sound. And he chooses to use mass heal. The yeah, this is a cool boss fight. And so, uh, just compared to Heroic, it's a big jump from Heroic Elite to Epic Elite. Very big jump. You can see how many more hit points this guy has. I can't see his hit points, but it's significantly more than the Heroic Elite bosses at one or two levels lower. And they hit from, you know, they hit from more everything. Alright, so, um, very lucky, uh, First drop, I get an Enchanted Horseshoe. I guess I'd rather get a named item I need. There's a few named items I'd like to get from here, but this is really good. This Enchanted Horseshoe will let me upgrade uh, my horse to a, a faster uh, horse. So, so we'll do that right after this. I'll do a short video on that. And then there's another chest here Let's see if I can get it failure on a 10 let me try my boost all right well success on a 20 it doesn't unfortunately that doesn't tell me much I guess this I also have this one to chest to test failure on an eight Failure on a 10. 18, that's without my uh, human versatility boost. So let me try this again and see if I can get it. Failure on a 1, of course. 11. 6. So, of course, this isn't mandatory, it's just an optional chest. I just want to see if I can get it on a higher number. 15 failed, so I'll probably just give it up. It's pretty unlikely. It's, I failed on a pretty high number there. Let me try one more human versatility boost. There's nothing really too interesting in this chest anyways. It's just a random loot. Well, success in a 19. So that, that's a great thing about open lock. If you don't have a big investment, as I don't, I only have two ranks in it. But I could still get the chest with, uh, if there's a chest I really want to get, I could still get it. All right, I'm going to pause it while I go back for the end reward.
And nothing too interesting here that jumps out at me. Um, tactful. Disable device, 18, that's not bad. Uh, I think I'll just take the Commendations of Valor. Uh, Commendations of Valor are needed to um, do your Epic TR. I don't think we'll have a problem getting enough of these, but uh, if there's not another item I want to take, I'll probably just take that. And that is the Hobgoblin Horde on Epic Elite.